Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'm here with a Silhouette Cameo tutorial on how to use the print and cut feature. I received a request from Gina, hi Gina, asking that I show how to do this, so I'd like to share that with you. First thing I'd like to do is go to the online Silhouette store. This is where I get a lot of my designs. I'll put a link in the description box below if you're not familiar with this store. But if you're looking specifically for print and cuts that they offer in designs, then you can come up here to the filters on the top left and under the cut types, select the drop down box and select print and cuts. And sometimes I have to do this twice for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it twice. So I'm going back and selecting print and cut and this should bring up all their print and cut files. Okay, so this is everything they offer in print and cut and how you know that is this little box that you see, this black box that says P, that stands for print and cut. So if I were to purchase this, that turkey is already designed for me, I could print it out from my printer and have my Cameo cut it out. So that way if you're looking for something specific, you can go there and search that way. So I just quickly wanted to show you that. But let's go back to the design um, silhouette design software. I'm going over here to the left. I want to show you under my library. I want to show you what a print and cut feature should look like. So this P that you see here, that shows me that's a print and cut. But for whatever reason, I don't know why sometimes they they do this and the, um, other times they don't have it. They don't have a P, but this one right here is also a print and cut, but it doesn't have that little box. So for example, if I select this love notes here, it's gonna come up on my mat here, already ready to go. It shows that it's print and cut, so I don't have to do anything to design it. But again, if I select, say, this journaling card right here, it doesn't have the little P next to it. It still also is a print and cut. So as you can see, it's all ready to go. So I just wanted to point that out that it doesn't, for whatever reason, always show that little blue box. But it really doesn't matter. You can pretty much make anything into a print and cut. So let me just get rid of these. I already have a few of these pulled up on my mat, and these are print and cuts ready to go. So if you go up here to the top right under cut settings and select that, it's going to show me a red box. Let me zoom in. It's going to show me a red box around each of my designs. That shows me that the cut is already in there and ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is go up here to our registration marks window, open that up and under style, it, select the drop down box and you want to select which silhouette that you're working with. Now I'm working with the Cameo, so mine's going to be type one. You select that, let me zoom out, and it's going to bring up your three registration marks. These are the marks that your Cameo is going to use to see exactly where everything is laid out on your mat, and it's going to know exactly where to cut. So you want to keep it this red box that you see all the way around here, you want to keep your designs inside that box and away from this grid mark. So again, let me zoom in. You do not want your design to go over this red line or up in that grid box. So just keep it within the guidelines and it'll work. Now, sometimes if I'm doing something really large and you need to move these guidelines over, you can do so over here on the right where it says position. You can just either drag it in or drag it out. And the reason you would drag it in is if you're only cutting one thing out and you don't want to waste a lot of paper because it's going to print out these black lines on your paper. So you would be wasting paper if um, you didn't bring them in. So again, let me zoom out here and show you if this is all I'm printing out, I'm going to bring the t bottom insert all the way up because I don't want to waste paper. So I'm going he over here to the right and I'm going to bring in bottom insert all the way up. Again, you don't have to do that. I'm just going to save this bottom portion of paper once I print it out. So the next thing you want to do is go up to send to printer up here at the top left. Select the printer that you're using. Once you've selected a printer, if you only use one printer, you don't have to worry about it again. It will automatically default to that. So I don't have to change mine. Mine always goes right to the printer, so I never worry about this. But you wanna make sure you're, if you use more than one printer that you have the correct one selected. 
and then you simply want to select print. So now this just printed out from my computer and as you can see it has three registration marks. I'm going to put this right on my mat. I use a Cricut mat but it's up to you. You want to place it on your mat like normal. Make sure it's pressed down and then simply put it right into your Cameo like you normally would. Now that we've just entered it into our Cameo, you want to go ahead and select to print it out. So go up here to the top under Select Silhouette. And if you need to change your cut settings, if you're using maybe a lighter paper or something like that, you wanna go up to your cut settings window and change your settings. Mine is already set to cut cardstock. Therefore, I'm simply going to to select start. It will automatically, because I have the registration marks on, it will automatically know to read the registration marks before it cuts. That way it knows exactly where it's cutting. So I'm just simply going to select start. So as you can see, this cut out perfectly from my mat. What happens is when you put it in, it reads your registration marks, it knows exactly where your items are placed, and it cuts around them. So when you pull your paper off, it gives you a perfect cut. And now here you are left with your print and cuts. Okay, so as you can see, we've printed these out and cut them out. I am going to show you how you can use just a regular basic shape and make it into a print and cut. So I no longer need these. I'm going to delete them off my page so we can work with this tag here. And let me zoom in over the tag a little bit. So again, this is just a basic shape that I have. As you can see, there's a, a matte piece, a larger piece, and a smaller piece. I want to ungroup them move them over and I'm going to get rid of this whole reinforcer just for video time sake. So now we have the smaller of the tag and the larger of the tag. You want to go up to the top here under your open the fill, fill pattern window and that is where all your patterns of paper are going to be. There's going to be the ones that Silhouette gave you when you first got your Cameo and then any you've downloaded or purchased. So I purchase a lot of my paper from Snap Click Supply. I'll make sure to put a link in the description box below. And they have a One Buck Wednesday sale every Wednesday where they sell paper packs for a dollar. So that's where I get a lot of mine. So I went ahead and decided ahead of time of what would be a good example. So I'm opening up here. I have the Prima Anna Lee paper pack. And this is the smaller of my tag here. So I want to put this on the top. And then I'm going to select this and get a coordinating paper to go in the back. So now as you can see, you have a perfectly coordinated tag. So now there's two things you can do. You can cut them out separately, and then you have two different tags that you can mat one on top of the other. Or if you wanted to save a little bit of paper and you were going to glue this down and you didn't want to waste all this ink right here, what you can do is select both of them, 
go up to the top here, over, open up the Align window, and just select Center, and that will automatically center them for you. Then you want to bring it over to your mat. Now, keep in mind, let me go to my Cut Settings, and it's going to show that there's going to be two red lines. So it's going to cut out two red lines. So if you're only going to cut out one piece, you want to change it to Cut Edge. Now it's only going to cut out the back paper. So I'm going to have a tiny little border of that pink behind my paper. But before I do that, I want to take it one step further quickly. And let me shut this off so you can hopefully see it a little bit better. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to add a digital stamp to the top of this. So I want to go over to my show library. And I have lots of Allie Edwards stamps because I love her handwriting. I get those from Designer Digitals, which I'll add a link in the description box as well. And I need to quickly just go back to my um, design here. And I wanted to make sure that I did not have it selected. I did not have a, a box around it. So let me go back here and choose anything that you want, any saying that you want. There's um, tons of sayings. All of these that you see here have come from the online uh, silhouette store that I showed you previously, or there's tons you can get online. But I'm going to choose a Allie Edwards stamp. I like this one here. It says, love this everyday story. So let me select that. And now I want to put that on the front of my tag. So I simply want to size it down. With her stamps, it's only going to um, print out in black. So let me just quickly group these together, the two tags. And then this way, by grouping those together, what I can do is select both of these, the tag and the saying, go back up to my Align window and hit Center. And now it perfectly centered it on my page. Sometimes I like to still adjust that, so I'm using my arrow keys and just adjusting that a little. And now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to group them. You don't have to do that, but by grouping them now I can move it around. And again, I want to keep it within my registration marks. Being that I still had them on, I didn't have to select that again. And I'm going to come up to my Send to Printer. I'm going to select Print since, again, it's already defaulted to the one printer that I use. And I will print that out. So now we just printed this out and we cut it. And as you can see, we have a perfect print and cut that we made ourselves using Prima paper and an Allie Edwards stamp. And again, you could have cut out two separate tags and maybe offset them slightly, but as you can see, it's a perfect print and cut. Okay, so lastly, I want to show you one other thing. I'm sorry if this is a lengthy video, but I really wanted to cover everything with um, print and cut that I could think of at this time. So here I have that same tag. I adjusted it a little. I made it a little bit smaller. I added a different pattern paper to it and a different Allie Edwards stamp to it, but we already went over how to do this. I wanted to show you any shape you have. So this is considered a frame that I had in my library. I filled it with a pattern paper. Now I want to go to my library and just get any word, any word you want. So I'm going to use this word adventure. And I want to show you here, let me zoom out. It's huge. You, you need to, of course, size it down to fit into your tag. You can, again, let me zoom in quickly. You can fill it with any color that you want. So you can go up to your fill color window and you can choose any color that you want. I'm going to use, let's say, the eyedropper tool that's over here and any color that you put it over, it's going to use that color. So if I put it over this brown over here or this blue, let me select this blue. And as you can see, I was able to choose that color or I could choose a color in this pink. So let me go grab the eyedropper tool once again and I'm going to select the darkest part of this pink and now I have a perfectly matched color to my tag. Um, I think I'm going to do it one more time. I think the blue actually looks a little better. So I'm going to do that now I want to size it down to fit inside of my little tag. 
or frame or shape, whatever you want to call it. And to get it perfectly center, I'm going to highlight both of them, go back up here to my align window, select center, and now it's perfectly centered. I'm going to group that just so if I move it around. So this is what I wanted to cover with you. If you're doing a ton of different things like this and you want to get as much room as you can on your paper, then you want to adjust your registration marks. So let's go back up to the registration marks window and let's say I need a big piece of paper. Normally if I was just doing these two small things I would bring up the registration um, close. Again let me show you I could like move these over into here, bring up the bottom and now I'm only wasting a little bit of paper but let's pretend that we have tons of stuff on this and we need a lot of room. I'm going to come over here to all my registration marks and make them as large as I can by pulling them all the way to the left. That is stretching them out all the way to the top, the sides, and the bottom. Now this is what I want to go over with you. When you do that and you put it into your on your mat and into your Cameo, sometimes it does not want to register. It'll fail. So I'm going to print this out quickly and I'll be right back to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so you want to place it in just like normal. You're going to use that guide and place it in. And again, our registration marks are further to the left, the right, and the bottom than they normally on when they're on the uh, default settings. So go ahead and put it in your machine. Now I'm going to hit Send to Silhouette. And it knows, because I have the registration marks on, it knows to read the registration marks, but it's going to fail because it usually, when you change the default settings, it wants to fail. So I'm going to select Start. It tried to read it, and as you can see here, it says Failed. So what we need to do is hit Retry Manually. Now you want to change it in your machine to place the blade directly over this top left box, which I will show you how to do that. So now I'm going to use my controllers to move my blade directly over this top box. So you just kind of want to move it to the side and to the top until you can see that your blade is directly over that box. And I know it's a little hard to see here, but you can see my blade is directly over that box. So now that it's directly over that box, I need to go back here and select register and it will try and read it again and it should read it. So now this is the final product. It read my registration uh, marks no problem, being that I moved the blade directly over that. Now the only thing I, I screwed up when I was making the video is this word adventure is a cut file. I forgot to turn that off. Um, it can cut a very intricate cut. It did not cut it here because I didn't change my cut settings. I would have slowed my machine down if I wanted to cut something this intricate. So what I should have done is, just like I showed you on this tag, I should have selected cut edge only. That way it cut the edge only. Besides that, as you can see, it cut out that print and cut perfectly. So now I hope you can understand how you can turn anything into a print and cut and anything that's already designed for you, you can cut out and it'll cut out perfectly. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I really hope you've enjoyed today's video and I really hope it helps. Thanks so much for watching.